Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Mini Sopuru USB-C laptop docking station that is currently uh, plugged into that laptop and powering uh, all of these screens simultaneously. So let's jump in and take a look. Okay, so this is the Mini Sopuru USB-C docking station for laptops, of course. And uh, here we can see that it is, it is currently running uh, my uh, tuxedo computers laptop here with the uh, AMD Ryzen CPU um, and and like I said it is currently uh, we've got a well, we've got an Amazon page there let's let's bring that down so we can kind of see what's going on here so we've got we've got our laptop screen running here uh, we've got a 3440 by 1440 uh, focus. There we go. We've got a 1340 by 1440 uh, ultra wide down here on the bottom and a 4K display up here. And just so that we're all on the same page, uh, let's come over to here. Let's see if we can get this to focus. There we go. So, oops. So here is my mouse that you can see me hovering over each of those things. We're going to follow the mouse over. And hey, look, there it is on our uh, Amazon page on the laptop screen. And then if we could bring it back over like so and come up uh, right right there, uh, we can see our, our mouse focus. There we go. Uh, we can see our mouse up here and we can just you know, move it across all three of these screens uh, with no issues or anything. So we are getting that. Uh, also, if we come over to here and we take a look um, uh, down here. So our highlighted screen, of course, is the laptop screen that is 1920 by 1080 right there. If we come up and uh, we click on this screen and come down, uh, there is our 3840 by 2160. And uh, just one more for, for the sake of continuity here, 3440 by 1440. So it is important to note that your laptop will need to have the correct compatibility uh, for, for the plugin for your setup here. Uh, the reason I bring that up is because I do have uh, a Lenovo 8th Gen i7 with Thunderbolt uh, that wouldn't support a setup like this. It would not give me anything above 1080p on two displays. Uh, it, it perfectly handled one display at 4K, uh, but wouldn't handle anything more than that above 1080p. So make sure that your, your laptop is compatible with the Mini Sopuru's requirements. Okay, so this is the Mini Sopuru uh, docking station that was sent to me for review. Um, and, and it's, when you open the box here, you get two things. You get this, the docking station, which we'll cover obviously, and you get uh, a USB-C cable, and that's it. That's all that comes in the box. Um, so uh, this, is, this is considerably smaller than I expected it to be. I wasn't sure what to think at first, and uh, I love it. I actually love that it's as small as it is. I also love that uh, your, your laptop slots in. Just slot it in uh, very, very easily like that. Um, and it's got it's got grippies all over it, so your your it's your your laptop's not just going to fall out randomly. It it does a really good job of making sure that everything uh, stays put. Uh, come on, see like I am shaking it, it won't come apart. Hold on. Okay, so so that's it's 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 very small, and I love that. You're on the front, you get a headphone jack. Uh, let's see if I can. There we go. Micro SD card, SD card 2, USB 3.0 ports, and um, a USB-C host port. Uh, basically, uh, the cable that comes with it uh, will plug in to this port uh, right here on the front, and then that will plug into your, your power and data port on your laptop. Uh, so I, I kind of honestly wish this was on the back. But it's whatever, like it, it isn't nearly as much of a nuisance as I thought it would be. Uh, and then on the back, uh, you get two HDMI ports that support 4K or 30. You get uh, an ethernet port with just a one gig. You also get another USB 2.0 port there. And then uh, a USB-C. Uh, this is what will plug into the wall. The thing to keep in mind is you don't get anything that goes from here to the wall like that. You have to supply that on your own. So make sure that your laptop's power supply is, is it has a USB-C port. Also make sure that it is rated uh, for enough power to go to give to give the the device this device power as well as your laptop power uh, i really do love the aesthetic of this thing and because your laptop slots in it this way um it's it's going to have more of a chance to breathe um of course you can kind of see uh because this in fact i'll just put it in here like this there we go so now you can actually see this was on a different stand uh <laughs> different laptop stand in a different room but here you can see that because it's upright like this it's going to have the most chance to breathe you're you're less likely to overheat your system uh with it being able to have full access to as much air as it could possibly get and i absolutely love this style of docking station for that exact reason i've got another docking station that isn't like this so i had to spend extra money to get fans to go under it so that it would blow cool air 
And this, with this, you shouldn't need that. I absolutely love uh, this mini Sopuru uh, docking station. Of course, I wanted to test the micro SD card, the SD card, and the USB 3 read and write speeds on the device. And here we can see all of the numbers I got. Your numbers may vary a little bit depending on the hardware that you plug into it, but this is what I got, and I'm pretty happy with all of those numbers. Also, I tested the uh, network speed that I would get with this and ran a speed test for the internet. Here we can see I got more than 500 megs of download speed from the internet, so there's absolutely no bottlenecks going on with the Mini Sopuru docking station. So there you go, guys. There is the Mini Sopuru uh, USB-C laptop docking station. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.